Hi everyone, this is Margaret Manning with Boomerly. My guest today is Lisa Copeland. Lisa is a dating coach and she works exclusively with women over 50 to find love in their life. Hi Lisa. Hi Margaret. <laughs> Lisa, it is so good to have you here. I, I love talking to you about this um, elusive dating after 50. So many women are you know, giving it a try after maybe a divorce or a separation and you know it's it's challenging after 50 or that's what we say <laughs> you have a different view <laughs> but Lisa you know once you've decided that you're going to get back into the dating world and you understand that you know you've got a great profile with the picture and all the things that you've advised us to do and other videos um, and, you know and you kind of set your expectations about you know not George Clooney but a nice guy you know, the next question is, where are they? <laughs> where are all these nice guys over over 50? Um, and I'd love your thoughts on that. Where do we go to sure. find them? Sure, sure. Well, men are everywhere. I mean, they're just everywhere. <laughs> the problem we have in real life is it's very hard to discern who is yeah. single because mm -hmm. uh, even married men don't always wear wedding rings. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to say, oh, is he single or not? I do feel the very best place is online dating. I'm a huge proponent of it because mm -hmm. that is the one place that people over 50 always congregate. And most of them are single. There, you will get a few married men in there. You will get a few scammers you have to be aware of. Mm -hmm. And I teach how to do that in my book, yeah. The Winning Dating Formula for Women Over 50 on Amazon. But most are just genuine men that want to find a relationship with you. But let's say you want to go out into the real world to find a relationship yeah. with where, someone. Where do I, I go? I mean, okay, go, go to the coffee shop. I can do the, those logical things. But and I, I'm mean, just getting back, by the way, to being single. I guess um, one thing I always do, I talk to everybody. It's good. <laughs> you it's know, good. I just talk to everybody. And yeah. and, if, and, if they're, and then I suppose if, if it's someone I think is kind of interesting, I might look and see, you know, if there's a wedding ring. But it doesn't. that isn't the first thing I think about. It's like, is it an interesting person? And then yeah. we chat and then, if, you know, it goes from there. But But where are these guys? Tell us. They're everywhere, okay. like I mentioned earlier. Okay. So what I suggest you do is do this little exercise where you write down the letters A to Z. Then think about in your area where you could meet men at those places. For example, A, an airport. E, an elevator. You know, there's <laughs> lots of people in an elevator. You can flirt in an elevator. <laughs> you can actually yeah. just go to a building and just go up and down in the elevator. Yeah. And just... <laughs> but most That's a great idea, only... actually. Yeah. The A to Z. Yeah, most of us only think about, yeah. oh, I go to the coffee shop or I can go to uh, a movie. Now, here in the States, I don't know if you have this, meetups are hugely popular and there are single... Yes meetups for over 50 that are happening all the time mm -hmm. do that i've i've had a lot of women say to me i've met some really interesting men at a meetup mm -hmm. yeah meetup.com it's a great site and you actually can there's all kinds of things you can do together like go to movies as a group or yes. or just talk about a topic um you know the, if you're into astronomy or <laughs> you know whatever yes. cooking yes you could do, and I know a lot of women that have gotten dates from meetups, mm -hmm. so uh, that's a great place to go. But if you do that alphabetized list, I think you'll be shocked. I mean, even the zoo for Z, <laughs> even getting an x-ray for X, I mean, just go through it. Mm -hmm. And it at least gives you different places to go every single day where you could go to meet a man. The other thing you can do is I have a report on my website called The Five Little Known Secrets for Finding Quality Men After 50. And that's going to give you a lot of ideas, too, for where you can go and do that. And you can find it on findaqualityman.com. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Okay. And you can get a lot of great ideas from that report. Do the list and get online. And you will have like a full spectrum of where you can meet quality men. What do you suggest about going alone versus, you know, going with a girlfriend? To a to me, restaurant? To me, or... to me, well, if you, if you say, for example, um, you know, M, I'm going to do a movie. I'll go see if I can, you know, okay. just see who's going to the movie and chat with someone and maybe, you know, find an interesting man. Um, would you suggest going with a friend or do you think that there's, there's some value to just trying to do it by yourself, just being alone? I think either way can work. You could go with one friend. When you get beyond one friend, mm -hmm. to, beyond two women together, it's too overwhelming <laughs> yes. for a man. He's yes. not going to come into a group. 
unless he's really super outgoing. I mean, he's just not going to do that. That is like, oh my God, how many times can I get rejected by all these women? So I would say no more than one. And you could do it. You know, it's easy to do. Mm -hmm. I was at a no, no. restaurant no. with a friend. She, this was years ago, and she was really better back then at picking guys up. I could do it now, but she was better. And we were <laughs> sitting there, and she said to the guy, uh, what kind of salad is that you're eating? And we started having this huge conversation, and he and I were the ones flirting. She was kind of the intermediary, and she went back, or she left. She left at that point, and we started talking. And it was fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really fun. You have to be playful, though. Anywhere you are in real life, you got to be fun and you got to be playful and you have to know how to do that. Well, I think that's, you've given us some great ideas. I love the A to Z list. And I love the fact that you've got your, your um, report on your website that uh, oh. can guide people through where to go to find men. And as I think, as you said, as long as you're not consciously looking for the George Clooney dream yeah. date and you just look at people for who they are, where, and if they're in the places you go, then they're almost certainly going to be people like you. So yeah. just, you know, as you said, like have fun and, and, uh, you know, smile. You got to go smile, Lisa. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Wonderful advice. I hope it's helpful to people. Thanks again. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you.